In this video, we're gonna make an adorable strawberry pincushion from my book, Sewing for Kids. Hi, I'm Alexa, author of Sewing for Kids, and this is my channel, Alexa, Teach Me How to Sew. The goal is to teach you how to sew while making cool and trendy projects. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a strawberry pincushion. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I'll break this video down into eight easy to follow steps. Let's jump in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is gather your materials. You're going to need both paper and fabric scissors, thread, you can use embroidery floss or regular thread, a needle, make sure that your needle matches the thread that you chose to use, the pattern printed on the website, two different colors of felt, one for the strawberry and one for the leaf and stem, straight pins, and maybe even a pin cushion, but we're gonna be making one, so. And last, you're gonna need some stuffing or some sewing scraps that you're gonna use as stuffing. I've linked everything in the description box below. You're gonna start by printing your pattern. Make sure that the scale is set to 100% and that after you print it, the sizing square is gonna be one inch. With your paper scissors, cut your pattern. Lay out your pattern on your felt and pin for cutting. Pinning for cutting means your pins will be inside the paper and you'll be attaching your paper to your fabric. You'll notice that I'm lining up the straight edges of my patterns with the straight edges of my fabric and this will save me time while cutting. Once you're done pinning, you can start cutting. You're gonna cut out one of everything. We can unpin our pattern now. We're gonna fold our fabric in half, matching the straight side and pinning that straight side for sewing, which means you're going to pin through both layers with your pin sticking out. We're gonna cut our thread now to the length of our arm to our opposite shoulder. If you need a quick refresher on how to thread your needle, you can check out my first video, Six Basic Steps to Hand Sewing. We're going to separate our thread three into three and three strands. Thread our needle, match the ends of the thread together, tie a knot. We're now gonna sew this straight line together using the whip stitch. Put the thread through the back side and whip it around. Continue to sew the whole side like this. You're gonna want these stitches to be pretty close together, removing any pins as you go. Before your thread gets shorter than your needle, you should stop, tie a knot, and re-thread your needle with new thread. When you get to the end, tie a finishing knot, make sure you do it three times, and cut your thread. Now we're going to flip our strawberry right side out so that we don't see the stitching. Rethread our needle with that loose piece of thread, match the ends and tie a knot. Now we're going to do a running stitch all the way along the top. A trick to this is that you can put the needle in and out a few times before pulling the thread all the way through, like this. At the end of this, we're going to gather this around so it's okay if you scrunch the fabric in a little bit. You want this line to be a continuous line, so don't tie a knot and cut your thread. Just keep pulling the thread so the fabric scrunches as you go. When you get to the end, pull so it's tight, but not too tight, and fill this strawberry with stuffing. I'm gonna use scraps from previous projects instead of stuffing. Now you can pull the thread all the way tight tie a knot. If you feel that there's too much of an opening here, you can sew that closed by going from one side to the other like this, and then do it again in the opposite direction. Once again, tie a finishing knot. We're gonna cut a teeny tiny hole for the stem. Cut it much smaller than you think it should be because we can always make it bigger. So I just go in, loop up, and that's my teeny tiny hole. To make the stem, we're gonna roll this, this stem piece up and put a pin in it. Cut a piece of green thread, separate the strands into three and three. Thread your needle, match up the ends and tie a knot. Now we'll do a whip stitch to close the stem. You can catch more than one layer as you go. You don't have to cut the thread yet. Insert the bottom of the stem in the small hole that you just made. Squeeze it in there as best you can. This refrain from cutting the hole bigger. And now with the remainder of that thread, we're gonna continue our whip stitch to connect the stem to the leaf. <laughs> I 
Okay, once you're done sewing all the way around, you can tie a knot on the back. Now we're gonna attach the leaf to the strawberry. You're gonna start by taking that thread and threading a needle, matching the ends and tying a knot, pin the leaf and stem to the strawberry, start between the leaf and the strawberry so we hide our knot, and do a running stitch to attach it. Make sure that you go down deep enough that you catch some of the strawberry to the leaf. This part's a little bit tricky. I like to hide my knot under the leaf. So I lift up the leaf a little bit and I tie my knot here. And you're all done. Notice that I didn't sew every leaf down exactly and I think that makes it look more like a strawberry. Thanks for watching my video. If you learned something, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a strawberry pin cushion. Well, <laughs> cut it off.